Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. Welcome to another two minute training from your favorite speech therapist. Today, we are talking about swallowing techniques. When it comes to safe swallowing, there are a lot of things that have to be accounted for. And it takes the knowledge and training of a speech therapist to know a patient's specific requirements for safe swallowing. However, there are some general guidelines that can be followed to make chewing and swallowing safer and easier for your loved one. Here are seven strategies to do to improve safety when eating and drinking. Number one, sit upright in a supportive chair. Number two, take small bites and chew your food well. Number three, eat slowly. Number four, switch between taking a bite and taking a drink. Number five, avoid foods that are hard to chew and swallow, such as crunchy foods like nuts and crackers, sticky foods like peanut butter and candy, and mixed consistency foods such as cereal and milk, broth-based soups, and even watermelon. Number six, eat in a relaxed, comfortable environment with no distractions. And number seven, maintain good oral hygiene by brushing your teeth and using mouthwash. Now, there are also a few things your loved ones should, do, should avoid doing when eating and drinking. Here are four things that you do not want to do. Number one, do not throw your head back when swallowing. Number two, do not talk while eating. Number three, do not eat foods that get stuck in your throat. And number four, do not continue eating if you become tired, if you start coughing or choking, or if you have a persistent gurgly or wet sounding voice. It's important to remember that all of these techniques can not only help your loved one stay safe while eating and drinking, but they may also improve their nutrition and hydration needs since it will decrease their risk of aspirating. And that's a wrap. See you for the next training.